Good morning, Jay and Tanya. Um, I'm just at 38 Dewire Street. Dead end street, so a nice little cul de sac. This is uh, Redhead. You can see it's a foggy day down here, which is normal, but a uh, lovely street. From here looking at the roof looks fairly new you can see this window over here is nearing the end of its life a little bit of a retaining wall here same thing it's rotten out from first glance looks like the house the exterior is a little bit tired It's a wood frame on that window there by the look of it uh, or just a really bad caulking job on it there vegetation around the house is overgrowing the window adds moisture up against the house As you can tell like all the wood is starting to be exposed maintenance for sure stairs driveway itself is pretty good Some boards replaced here. So the deck is really uh, getting to be. It's it is sturdy here. But definitely uh, going to need some maintenance on the deck for sure. So as you can tell, these homes are really close. I don't know about. 15 feet apart. Looks like the barbecue was here at one time and they've melted the siding. Probably why they moved it back here. Right there at that window. Looks like there was a leak there one time because they put enough caulking around that or whoever installed them put a ton on it, but I would guess that it leaked and they fixed it with caulking. Some bit of damage here. Nice big shed, using it for golf practice. And a projector, oh, he's right into the hospital. Smell a little bit like cat pee in there. Not sure why they have all this plastic up against it. Not sure what that is. Oh, 
that's the underground wiring. Now this could use a good pressure washer. Exterior vinyl siding is in relatively good shape, couple bad spots. But... tries to seal everything up with caulking. Nice little porch area. This is a vinyl floor, it's not hardwood. right into this little living room area and dining room table. This is a laminate floor, cushion flooring in here do with the space they have. I think your fridge should almost be here and that way over there. Okay, I'm just got a little bit of wear and tear on them. They're a nice solid wood. are in good shape. A bubble right here on the floor. We have a washer dryer. Toilet sink right here on the main floor. Not sure if you hear that buzzing. That's definitely not good. It's a fuse panel. My opinion on those, there's nothing wrong with them as long as they're maintained properly. Most people want to convert them to a breaker panel. And bedroom right here on the main floor, it's a good size. Everything's in good shape in here. This is the window here. And all that caulking around it. No leaks evident in here. Again, a clip flooring. No tape issue there. Home is clean. Two more bedrooms up here. 
different size. This is something we see often. It, uh, those heaters, they blast out a lot of heat and they burn the walls. Looks like it's burning that plug. shape really you could get a double bed in here no problem showing up real well there but this uh, surround is two different colors there you go that's a better picture of it It's kind of close. I'm um, 5'9, you got 5'10, 11 there, maybe six foot, you're gonna whack your head. Nice little family room down here. No smells. Three-quarter shower. Oh, good shape. storage hot water tank it is a leased hot water tank from st john energy all oh, plastic pipes for the drains central back system all copper lines for water all looks pretty dry against the wall this is a big room a closet there and you've got two beds in here yeah overall it's in pretty good condition